So remember the idea, in order to prove the identity, you need to use the definitions and we need to use our definitions and prove that the left hand side of the identity is equal to the right hand side when simplified. So remember step number one, let me underline that. So let me first consider the left hand side. So the left hand side reads hyperbolic cos 2x. And remember the definition for hyperbolic cos x, it's e to the x plus e to the minus x over two. So that's the definition of hyperbolic cos x. And if I simply replace the x's in this definition by two x, I'm gonna have e to the two x plus e to the minus 2x divided by 2. So that is what we have on the left hand side. Now on the right hand side, so let's consider the right hand side of the identity. So the right hand side reads 2 hyperbolic cos squared x minus 1. So remember to prove identities we need to use the definitions and if I use the definition of hyperbolic cos on the right hand side, I'll have 2 multiplied by hyperbolic cos x, which is e to the x plus e to the minus x, divided by the 2, don't forget to square, minus 1. Now, let me do a side calculation and let me expand this bracket on top. So let me expand out e to the x plus e to the minus x squared. So the upper bracket. So be careful with your multiplication. When I expand, you're going to have e to the 2x plus 2e to the 0. Okay. So e to the x times e to the minus x is e to the 0 plus e to the minus 2x. And since e to the 0 is 1, it's e to the 2x plus 2 plus e to the minus 2x. So further to that, if I use this result in a side calculation above in the main step, I'll have 2. So when I expanded the numerator as a side calculation, I had e to the 2x plus 2 plus e to the minus 2x divided by, and 2 squared is 4, minus the 1, and if I cancel 2 from here with 4, so 2 goes into 4 twice, and also further to that, if I take a common denominator of 2, we're going to have e to the 2x plus 2 plus e to the minus 2x minus the 2 and if I simplify this numerator this 2 as you can see the, so the plus 2 cancels with the minus 2 so we're going to have e to the 2x plus e to the minus 2x divided by 2 so as you can see the left hand side does indeed equal the right hand side okay so remember using the definitions is the second step so you could call this step number two and in this case since the left hand side so the left hand side for hyperbolic cos 2x is e to the 2x plus e to the minus 2x over 2 and that indeed equates to the right hand side. So when we simplified the same outcome. So since the left hand side equates the right hand side, therefore hyperbolic cos 2x is indeed 2 hyperbolic cos squared x minus 1. So that completes uh, this question and Again, if you're unfamiliar with the method, I'll provide a link to the video explaining the theory and the method involved in the description below.